There are three events to go, each with their own nautical flavour. Deck hockey, obstacle course, but first, tug of war, the naval version, using a pulley system to simulate the capstan they normally pull around. Three pulls over eight feet. There's a change in the scoring. It's now two points for a win and one for defeat. And remember, the riders are three points up at the moment. And that tug of war being slightly delayed at the moment because once again, the weather has been a little unkind to us and it's a, a bit of routine deck scrubbing. And I can tell you these fellas are used to this. The rain has been pouring down for a couple of minutes or two, but there is some uh, blue sky and sunshine up ahead. So once the, uh, the squaddies have got the deck dry and have done this many times, we'll be underway. Take up the road! Okay, you ride it. Take the strain. Come up, riders. Come up. So we're underway with the first of these three pulls. The riders in black with little Steve Jockin on the front with Virginia Holgate and Catherine Swinnerton, the two girls behind. And there's the ball sport team. They've got the two tennis players, Anne Hobson and Annabelle Croft, then Des Drummond, then a bit of power with Gordon Greenwich, Sean Curley, Ian Taylor. Graham Goots has some weight in this, and Jeff Squire is 16 stone, and they're 50 kilograms heavier than the riders. They're almost an extra girl. And they're nearly there with the first pull, I think. The ball sports have got them on the move. They're about two feet from the line, so they've had six feet of their eight feet pull. The riders in trouble. It is a tremendous weight difference. Virginia Holgate there at number two in the riders' team. And there it goes. That's the first. That's the first of the three pulls. Two points to the heavier ball sports team, one to the riders, and that takes them to the ball sports to 18 overall to the riders 20. Two pulls to come. Ball sports lead by one pull to nil. Take up the road. Take the strain. Come up, riders. Come up, riders. Give riders. Hey! Oh, well, Hobbs on the front of the ball sports rope. They're one pull up. They're much heavier altogether. And the only way the riders are going to be able to take this is by superior tech. Little Steve Jockin, Virginia Holgate taking a pull in this is a lot different. Three day of thing. Catherine Swinnerton, little Andy Ruffle, then Mike Hager, Robert Lemieux, Malcolm Elliott, Stephen Smith. And the riders are going again. They're going again. Two porters trying to get in the hole. Riders. 20 to ball sports, 21 to riders. Fingers. Come on. What more could you ask for? Two beautiful girls, but aggressive. Lovely aggression. Are you enjoying it, Annabelle? You oh, really are. Yeah, very much so. Yep, we've got some great men on our team, which is helping us. It makes your fingers very sore. But I was going to say, and are you worried about your hands, your I, tennis hands? I mean, I have no feel... idea what's happening. I'm just holding onto the rope, and it's all coming from behind. Annabel Croft's aggression came through in the Whiteman Cup, a memorable singles victory over the United States. Yeah! 40, 15. She gets it for pluck. She really swung around at that backhand pass, and it gives her two match points. Then it's two more points, and Hugh Porter has got to drive now. He's got to try and get something into these riders. The bike riders and the equestrians really up against it, and they're going again. Look at these girls enjoying it, enjoying every minute of it. They're going to take three pulls out of this, and the riders are down. Virginia Holgate just getting up, but it's the extra weight and the power of this ball sports team. There it goes again. Two more. They've taken all three pulls, six points for them just three for the riders and that makes it 22 points all and what a delighted team Terry Neal has got them there. 
22 each and deck hockey which is brand new and the frightening obstacle run is going to settle the second semi-final they're going to be two great events i'm sure